Sir Finzi, it doesn't affect me. Does it affect you? Yes, it does. It doesn't affect Courtney and it doesn't affect the producer. It only affects, it doesn't affect me. Janice McIntosh. It doesn't affect me. So what's you the know, big problem? You Why do, is that tricky? When I do an investigation and people come up, I may not find they have a police record. But I go further. I find out what are their antecedents. Yes. Who are they aligned to? Who do they mm -hmm. eat with? Who do they play dominoes with? You should perhaps find out what are the antecedents of the Jamaican women of Florida. <laughs> you know what I find fascinating about all of this? What are the antecedents, Mr. Finzi? You know what I find fascinating about all of this? Yes. Rupert Francis has attempted representational politics for the Jamaica Labour Party. Repeat that. Rupert Francis has entered mm -hmm. in the past representational politics for the Jamaica Labour Party. The said man who is leading the demonstration. Yes. Wow. So you, you can't claim that he's a born again comrade or whatever. He seems to be speaking from a point of view of genuine concern. Yes. And they have a saying that if something can come from river bottom and there's a shot down there, believe it. True. So where you believe down there, Mr. Finzi? Where you believe down there, Mr. Finzi? A certain amount of hungry people who have been well fed and want more. Hey, hey. Mr. What? Finzi, what are you talking in parables? No, I'm talking straight. And if you if if you're honest with yourself, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Let me put it to you this way, as plain yeah. as I can put it. Do you know that there's a diaspora group headed and controlled by a minister of government in Jamaica. You mean the one that Mr. Terry Long controls? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Terry Long don't live in the diaspora. What business does he and have he controlling the affairs of it? Because he have to make them look good when the diaspora must speak. Yeah. There's a very old and unfortunately distasteful joke about an obnoxious smell in a public transport. Mm. And everybody looking around like who poop. And the man <laughs> at the back <laughs> of the bus don't say nothing. And then him drawing the chorus, who poop. And when it turned around, <laughs> he has discovered that after a certain age, every poop could become liquid. And mm. he says, it looked like it's me. It's an inside job. Wow. So when you find that obnoxious smell in a room, the person who telling you not to take care of it, could be the originator of it. True. Then you have some people, and I'm not saying about these ladies in Florida, I don't know. But as she has said, a certain lifestyle mm. that they have aspired to and obtained, remember, say, it don't affect me. Don't means affect that, me. Means that they don't care what happened yeah, down here yeah. as long as it don't affect them. They don't, it don't, they, don't, they, they don't care about what is happening in the hospitals. They don't care mm -hmm. about what is happening in crime. They don't care about what is happening in the roads and the water and the housing solutions for Jamaica. They don't care about the education system. They don't care about the, the, the poor police system and the state of emergencies and the militarization of the state. They don't care about 
the the um the, the, the banks and the bank charges and 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 the amount of people losing their monies from the bank they don't care about SSL drama and the financial irregularities with beryllium and all of these people they don't care about those things but it cares we care about them and that's why we talk we and we're care criminal about to do so and we're not criminal to do so because it is a part of the constitutional right and the, uh, the, the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights. The freedom of speech and the freedom of, of opinion counts. Well, you know what I'm saying? Who feels it knows it, y'all. So I can only suppose that they don't. I surely know, Mr. Pins, and you surely know. Mm. But. Her statement really rocks me tonight when she said, I, what she said, it doesn't impact me. No, it doesn't. Because tomorrow morning she'll get up and have her hand shall, face shall, and foot shall, and do her covered look with her hair and be good. And return to her air conditioned home. Hmm. So don't tell her about Sad a reality. kid sitting in a tenement yard in Jamaica who don't have nothing to eat in the morning. It don't affect her. Sad, sad reality, Mr. Finzi. Sad reality. Well, that is, you know, let me say, carefully that you don't report by yourself. True. I wouldn't be surprised if she don't have an American passport. <laughs> No man should have had to have her American passport, Mr. Finzi. Well, 